that uh, may actually be welcomed in many quarters, uh, particularly among the general public and certainly among uh, officers. The days of politicians transferring bureaucrats may soon be over. Well, the government, in fact, has decided to protect bureaucrats from political interference by fixing mandatory two-year terms in each post. Removing them earlier would require permission from no less than a central civil services board. A young IAS officer in the western badlands of UP, a seasoned bureaucrat from Haryana. Not much in common, except they took on the might of the political masters and paid heavily for it. The government has apparently decided enough is enough and plugged a major loophole in the independence of bureaucracy. Officers of the three premier services, IAS, IPS and the Indian Forest Services will now spend a minimum of two years at each posting. Any exception in form of transfers or new appointments will have to be approved by a civil services board. States have been mandated to constitute this board which will be headed by the chief secretary. Other members will be from the same service to which the office in question belongs to. The latest guidelines notified on Tuesday may well be a thorn in Neta's sides but will be a major boon for the clutch of bureaucrats who had the gumption to stand up to their political masters. The country is littered with names of inconvenient IAS, IPS and IFOS officers who were transferred out at political whim. Interestingly, according to a survey, the average tenure of IAS officers in a given post is 16 months and only 56% of district officers spend more than one year in their job. Nearly two-thirds of the IAS officers have had average tenure of 18 months or less. The survey also infers that states which are perceived as badly governed tend to be the ones where IAS transfers are more frequent. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.